As you guys know, Park Reborn Alpha came out recently, so I thought I'd just go over a couple of the mechanics and make a tutorial on them. Um, I'll be putting the mechanics, the timestamps for each mechanic on screen, so feel free to skip to any portion of the video if you need to. So starting off, we have the long jump. Now the long jump is a very important move for Park Reborn as it is used in like a lot of other mechanics and it's one of the main ways that you'll travel around the map. Now to even perform a long jump, you'll need to perform your dash keybind while walking on the ground, which is referred to as an after boost. You unlock this move at I believe level 8. So yeah. So you see on the top of my screen, you see that green bar that turns red for a second. So I'm actually holding down my middle mouse button, which is my dash keybind. So if I hold it down like this, it becomes red. So what you want to do is actually time that. When it turns red, you want to be on the edge of a building. So I'll be running like this and it's red. So what you want to do when it turns red on the edge of the building is you want to unclick your dash button. Mine is middle mouse button. You unclick your middle mouse button click it again and then press space this all has to be timed perfectly and at the edge of a building so it'll look like this so now we have wall boosting so to wall boost you're going to need to reach level 10 and basically how it works is you need to walk up to a wall jump and then press your dash key button in midair so that will look a little something like this you see that purple bar that appears so when that purple bar appears you're gonna need to walk up to the wall and then tap space once while looking at the wall and then look away and then tap space again so like this and it needs to be done within the window of 100 ms so those two space taps need to be done within a 100 millisecond window So to perform a wall kick, you're going to need to jump in the air and have your back facing against a wall like this. So while your back is facing the wall, you're going to want to press your dash keybind and then immediately press space following the initial press of your dash keybind. Chaining is one of the most useful mechanics in Reborn in my opinion because it enables you to travel pretty much at the high speed you can travel at. So to perform a chain, all you have to do is begin with a long jump. And then after that initial long jump, all you have to do is keep hopping on the edge of the building. You don't need to press any keybinds, no dashing, nothing. So it'll look like this. So now, in my opinion, long jump boosting is one of the hardest mechanics in the game, yet one of the most useful. The first step to doing a long jump boost is long jumping off the side of the building. The next step after that is long jumping off and then wall boosting. Now this next step utilizes something called coyote time. After you wall boost and you activate coyote time, you're going to want to click space as soon as you see your character start beginning the walking animation. I'll play it on screen right now to show you what I mean. 